I'm Sir Tap Tap, and after a bit too long of a break, we are back with Monument Valley. We're also back with my heating. I'm really looking forward to summer, or at least spring. Just not having to have heating on in order to like not die, because it gets in my stupid videos and it, it makes me dry and ugh. <gasps> Iota meets Totem, a friend. Oh my gosh, this this is what I was super excited for. Um, oh, my phone's a little bit dark. Sorry about this. Um, <laughs> This is what I was super excited for last time. Wait, is my night mode thing is on? Sorry. <laughs> Messing with my phone. Um, I'll get up there. Totem. If you haven't seen Totem, you're about to love Totem. Yes! <laughs> so, I'm gonna do... Um, I'm gonna play all of Monument Valley and the extra chapters, and I guess eventually Monument Valley 2. Um, I haven't beaten Monument Valley 2. Um, I'm not sure I beat... No, I think I beat the other ones. Um, puzzle games are a little bit awkward to do a Let's Play for, because at least for your first time, if you don't know exactly what to do, because, like, you either get to choose between being inauthentic and, like, you know, having already played it, um, or you get to, like, just get totally insanely lost, or you have to, like, edit edit out your being lost, and that's, that's weird to me. Oh. Right, right, right. I remember what you can do here. In this case, I'm kind of halfway because I'm like... I played this game, but it was years ago, so... I don't necessarily remember everything, but... Uh, God, it's so beautiful. I'm, <laughs> I hate to just be like, wow, look at this game, but... I mean... Look at it. Great colors. Speaking of great, visually impressive games, um, I just finished... Um, I just finished Tearaway Unfolded, uh, just today! It's, um, a fantastic game. Oh! Come here, Totem. Totem is a total bro. Um, yeah, Tearaway Unfolded is a fantastic game. I, I was really impressed with how much they changed from the original Tearaway. Because, uh, the original Tearaway was great, but they, uh, they still added it and changed a whole bunch. So, it's like a whole new game, really. Or at least it's like a... I don't know, expansion pack on top of the original game. I'm sorry that you get a little bit of jpeg -y badness because of encoding, especially the red color. It's such a brilliant, vibrant red, but um, I forget exactly why this is, but uh, encoding, like video compression, um, it's just really bad for, um, for red in particular. Ugh. Can you not have it halfway? No, I don't think you can. But hey, it's a YouTube video. It was only going to be so good looking anyway. Um, it probably won't even look that different by the time, you know, it's all said and done. It's just bothering me because I'm looking at this on my phone and then I look at the preview and it's like, oh, that's not what I see on my phone. <laughs> I'm using a Chromecast. I, <sighs> I really wish there was a better way to do this than a Chromecast because Chromecasts... They're not very good. Um, oh, I know what you need to do. Get you over here. I want to just use the, the golden standard for any kind of video recording. It's still cables. Wireless stuff, it's neat in theory. For completely casual uses, it's whatever. It's, it's cool. Um, as somebody that you know needs to record things in a at least slightly pretend professional manner, um, I can pretty much absolutely only deal <laughs> with, uh, cords. Okay. Hmm. Ah, I see how this goes. That, 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 ah, um, the ha aha moment, rather, is something that I think a lot of puzzle games, every puzzle game wants you to appreciate that, or wants you to have that. Um, Monument Valley, I find I actually experience that moment a lot more. Um, it's just, you poke around and you stumble into the right solution because, I think it's partly because it kind of constrains you a fair bit in terms of what you can do. Um, and so it's easier to push around and stumble into the correct answer, probably because the levels, they're pretty small. Um, <laughs> and 
And this is what I feared, me getting stuck. What's the point of that? So, can I do anything here? Oh. <laughs> I might be stupid. I might just be stupid. I'm not thinking with Totem yet. Totem... Totem does change things a lot. And think about Monument Valley. There's a lot... There's a lot going on at every level. Um, it does that kind of Yoshi's Island thing that I always loved. Every level has its own gimmick. It has its own unique stuff. And so there's never... You're never getting bored with the same crap all the time. You're never like, ugh. Oh, I just had to do this, but slightly less complicated. Um, there's always some new mechanic, some new visual thing. Um, totem! Wait, wait, Totem, no. That's water. Oh. I, I don't know about this Totem. I don't think you should... I don't think that's a good idea. Totem? You, you okay? You okay, Totem? Nah, he's gonna be fine. I'm not sure what order. Is there an order? I'll probably have already recorded them by the time anyone answers this, but is there an order for the extra chapters? Like, let me show you here. Um, I'm gonna try to do these in like 15 minute segments. Um, I forget how long the first video was, but that's how long I've been meaning to do videos. Monument Valley, Forgotten Shores. I, I guess I'll just play them in the order that this thing presents here. So we'll do Forgotten Shores next, and then Ida's Dream. And I didn't get it. Uh, my last video, I was actually surprised how many people were watching the first Monument Valley. Um, oh, see, this is what I was talking about with the gimmicks. You know, and I don't mean that in a negative way. Um, you know, just something different each time. And I really appreciate that. Um, see, we don't even have. Um, well, now we have Ida. Um, <laughs> I love stuff like that. Just a little subversion of expectations. Um, yeah, a lot of people watched the first video, and I was always like, "Oh, I kind of missed the boat on this one. It's a great game, but I don't know if I should do, I should bother doing a video." And that's that's a silly thing to think, because like, you know what? I play games all the time that are, you know, quote unquote old. Um, what, what does that matter? And so I shouldn't like expect that everyone else is gonna be like, "Oh, this game's too old. You shouldn't do a video." Oh, here we go. I should do some Echo Chrome videos after this too. Echo Chrome is another uh, very Escher-esque, oops, um, game, puzzle game. Uh, came out before this, in fact. There are some similarities in terms of how some gameplay mechanics work out, but uh, I'm not sure my Valley necessarily stole anything from it. It's just kind of, you know, similar concept. It's the exit. Ooh, ooh, no, 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 oh! I think you could do that. Oh, like, I keep making the same mistake! I'm thinking, like, I need to turn it three times. I... I don't know why I'm thinking that. There's only two states here. Alright. Get... get on the thing. I know. Okay. Now we're good. There's actually quite a few um, perspective puzzly kind of things. Um, Unfinished Swan kind of was. That was a really good. That was really fun. If you enjoy um, Monument Valley, I think you'd really like um, the Unfinished Swan. That was a really fun puzzle game. Oh, you jerk! <laughs> it's like one of those useless machines. Oh, I love. Now think about this game, um, I try to put this a lot in Nog, but um, that kind of tactile and just playful feel. I love the little musical notes as you move stuff around, 
and just the that you can move stuff inch by inch it just feels really cool i love that feeling of you know playfulness and just that tactile sense in games um especially mobile games i think can do that really well because you know you're touching it those who stole our sacred geometry have forgotten their true selves is that why they're crows no i look like a crow hmm. cursed to walk these monuments are they interesting foolish princess have you forgotten too i stole the precious things I'm sorry. <laughs> and they're walking on like a altered Mobius strip, a Mobius triangle, if that's a thing. Oh, and see, see, this is like I was saying. There's a new little thing that you can do, pretty much every section. I love that kind of stuff. See, now we get to turn the whole world. Oh, look at that water. It's time to get Mario Wii U on the phone. How many times have I made that reference? Hundreds, I'm sure. <laughs> well, maybe not hundreds, but dozens. Or at least a dozen. I don't know. They're waiting the queen. What? That is a complicated device. Do you ever wonder what kind of engineering it would take to actually make a lot of these, like, video game Indiana Jonesy puzzle things? Whenever I'm playing Uncharted, um, which I nearly, I nearly did a stream of. Fantastic game, I don't know if it's something people would enjoy me watching or enjoy me playing for a stream, but I uh, really like the Uncharted series, but uh, it has these ridiculous, like, elaborate, like, ancient Aztec elevators, like, that still work a thousand years in the future. <laughs> it's like, the, the amount of engineering involved, it's staggering, but... Ah, that's where I gotta be. Okay. I did this the wrong way. There we go. See, I never felt super frustrated in this game, and that's something I really appreciate in a puzzle game, I gotta say. Um, I never really enjoyed super crazy, insane -o hard puzzle games. I tried to enjoy um, Steven's Sausage Roll, that game. I hear that people that love puzzles just love that game to bits, but um, gosh, I could not. I could not deal with it. Monument Valley. Alright, how many chapters are there? Are there ten? I, I honestly forget. Like I said, it's been a while since I played. Um, but yeah, we're gonna finish up Monument Valley. Uh, I think we'll leave off here. Oh, there is, so... Might just be... Wait, how many did we do today? Just two? Might be two or three more videos um, for this one. Well, probably just two. Um, and then we'll check out the DLCs and Monument Valley 2. Do you know people were mad at Monument Valley for having a DLC? It was like a $5 game, and now it's even cheaper, I think. Um, and it added a level pack that was like, um, I think it's almost as big as the main game. Yeah, eight more chapters, and it was like three bucks. And people were mad at it. It's like, what? The, the mobile ecosystem really... <laughs> Jeez, I'm really glad the Mobile Valley happened and that, you know, we can have this. I think I talked about this last time, but... It sucks what's considered standard on mobile games. People will people will gladly be strung along for hundreds of dollars to get like a Gashapon item and like a literally gambling. And it's just fake items that you can't sell and get money back from. And so it's just money lost to the ether. They're fine with that, but five bucks for an amazing game like this and people are like, pfft. Just, <laughs> it just ticks me off. Anyway, that's Mobile Valley for, t M Monument Valley for today. We will definitely be continuing, so you don't have to keep telling me. Um, see you next episode. Check out some of the other videos. I, um, I do play lots of mobile games on this channel. There's a big old playlist with over 100 items at this point. So uh, if you need something to play on your phone, check out that playlist and see what we got. All right, gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Frog, what are you doing in my house? I, I, I would just get out. Ah!